Hello. Today we want to go through this particular question, how we can find the solution set of this question. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's start. We have um, this particular, let me say, higher order quadratic equation, question here. So first thing that we are going to do is we are going to single out the 1 over x squared. So we are going to have our 18 multiplying 1 over x exponent 4 plus 1 over x exponent 2 is equal to 4. Okay. Now the 1 over x exponent 4, we can rewrite that as 1 over x exponent 2 all exponent 2 okay because those are same as 1 squared over x squared all squared and this is going to give us 1 over x exponent 4 okay so in that case we are going to have our 18 multiplying 1 over x exponent 2 all squared plus 1 over x exponent 2 being equal to 4. So what we are going to do at this point, we are going to do some representation. We let a variable of our choice represent the 1 over x exponent 2. Okay, so we let, let's say y be equal to 1 over x exponent 2. So it's been that whatever that we see y, we subtract, or whatever that we see 1 over x squared, we substitute y there. Okay, so that is going to lead us to 18 multiplying our y squared plus our y being equal to 4. Okay, so this becomes our 18y squared plus y minus 4 being equal to 0. Now we are having a quadratic equation here. Okay, so we try solving this particular quadratic equation. Okay, you can decide to use either the quadratic um, formula or the factorization method or the completing of squares, any method of your choice you can use here. Okay, so we want to use the factorization method. So we use the negative 4 to multiply the 18 and that is going to give us negative 72. All right. And for the negative 72, we are going to find two numbers in which when you multiply, you get a negative 72. But when you add, you get the coefficient of the middle term, that is a y. Okay. So we are going to use positive 9 and a negative 8. Okay, so in place of the y, we are going to substitute these two numbers there. So we are going to have our 18y squared plus our 9y. We have minus 8y minus 4 being equal to 0. We take the first two terms and then we factorize. All right, so we are going to have our 9y being the common factor. So 9y, we open our bracket, we are going to be left with 2y plus 1. We take the last two, we factorize. So we are going to have our minus 4. We open the bracket, we are going to be left with 2y plus 1 being equal to 0. Okay, so we are going to have our 2y plus 1 in one bracket, because that is a common factor. We open another bracket, and we are going to be left with our 9y minus 4 being equal to 0. Okay, so now... We are going to pick each linear factor, then we equate it to 0. Right, so we are going to have our 2y plus 1 being equal to 0. This implies that we are going to get our 2y to be equal to negative 1. Our y is equal to negative 1 over 2. And we we'll pick the other linear factor, that is 9y minus 4 being equal to 0. We are going to get our 9y to be equal to positive 4. And divide both sides by 9. I'm going to get our y to be equal to 4 over 9. Now we are not done with the question. This is the first part of the question. We have been able to solve our y, but in the question it was x. So what we are going to do is we are going to go back and then use what the y represents. The y is equal to 1 over x squared because we did that representation here. That y is equal to 1 over x squared. Okay, so in that case, said but our y is equal to 1 over x squared and then when we solve we had two values for y one we had y to be equal to negative 1 over 2 and the other one we had y to be equal to 4 over 9 
okay so in that case if y is equal to 4 over 9 then we are going to have our 1 over x where that is the y being equal to 4 over 9 we are solving for x here so we can do cross multiplication here okay so the 1 multiplies the 9 the x square multiplies the 4 all right so that is going to give us 9 being equal to 4x squared we divide here by 4 we divide here by 4 okay so we get our 9 over 4 to be equal to x squared we are solving for x so it takes positive square root of both sides so square root of this side square root of this side to get rid of the squared okay and this is going to give us plus or minus 3 over 2 being equal to our x all right then we consider the other value for y because we said y is equal to negative 1 over 2. In this case, when we pick or when we replace the y by 1 over x squared being equal to negative 1 over 2, you do your cross multiplication and you are going to get positive 2 being equal to negative x squared. Now you want to solve for x. So this will be the same as or you interchanging the position and you are still going to get your x squared being equal to negative 2. If you try taking square root of that, now this is not going to give you real root. You are going to get complex root. So in that case, you are going to get your x being equal to plus or minus um, square root of 2 pi because this is complex root. This is complex root. All right. But if you are talking about the real solution, then you are going to get your x to be equal to your plus or minus 3 over 2. Okay, so this is how we can solve this question. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.